Okay, this is the 12th in a series of videos that I'm making as supplements to my PFSense website, pfsenseSetup.com. And in this video, we continue our look at VPN protocols. And in this video, I'm going to cover the fourth and final protocol supported by PFSense, at least as of version 2.0, this point-to-point uh, -point tunneling protocol. And here's few bulleted points concerning a point to point tunneling protocol. It used a control channel over TCP transmission control protocol and GRE, generic routing encapsulation to encapsulate PPP. The, specif the specification does not describe encryption or authentication features and relies on a point to point protocol for these. And the specification is RFC. 2637, originally published in July 1999, it uses port 1723. And we're going to log into the PFSense web interface here. And in order to set this up, we have to do three things. We have to, uh, first we have to enable PPTP. We have to create a user and we have to set up a firewall rule. And I'm really not sure how far we're going to get in this video. But if not, I'll continue in a second video. So we'll go to VPN PPTP via the menu at the top here. And it says PPPT is no longer considered a secure VPN technology because it relies on MS CHAP version 2. That should, that's a point that should be uh, noted. It's, it's not considered particularly secure, but it, if nothing else, at least it's, it's supported by, by Windows. Uh, so I'm going to close this out going to click on enable PPTP server. We're going to set the number of users to 10. We're going to set the server address to 192.168.5.1. Should make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. And let's see, the starting address, well we might as well make it the next address here. 192.168.5.2. And Let's see, we can leave these uh, the DNS servers unchanged. We're not going to set that. And we're going to click on uh, required 128 bit encryption. And we're going to save. And uh, this will. So now we should have. Uh, Changes have been applied successfully, but now we got to create a user. So we're going to click on the Users tab, and we're going to click on the plus button here. And so you're going to set username to Homer, and we're going to set a password here. And we're not going to assign a, a specific IP address. We're just going to save this. And we're going to click on the Apply Changes button. And the changes have been applied successfully. So now we can create the firewall rule. So we're going to go to Firewall Rules. And we now have a new tab for PPTP VPN. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to click on the plus button to add a new rule. We're going to leave action as pass. We're going to leave interfaces as PPTP VPN. And we're going to set destination to LAN subnet. And destination port range to any. And we're going to enter a description to LAN. And we're going to save that. And we now have a rule. And we're going to click on Apply Changes to apply the changes. And there you have it. In just under five minutes, we've uh, configured VPN and added a firewall rule for it. So I'll see you in the next video.